Hi, I'm Dominic Tanzillo, and this is my presentation on why are xylem cells dead. So before we begin the presentation, I just want to go over what the xylem is and why we cover it in plant bio. So the xylem is essentially the veins of the plants. It's what transports the water and some nutrients from the roots to the stomata of the leaves. Water and nutrients is in the form of sap, and due to water potential, the water moves up the xylem. It moves from an area of high concentration of water, an area with high water potential, to an area with low water potential, or an area with a lower concentration of water. And it does this um, for many reasons. And a common example that we see every day is wood. Wood is an example of xylem. So, Transpiration is the reason that xylem needs to exist. Water is constantly lost through the stomata, um, through gas exchange, or for gas exchange. Um, and so the xylem is necessary to carry more water up to the xylem. And so we'll cover the reason that the cells need to be dead later on, but just keep in mind that there's this constant pool of more and more water needed. This creates a negative pressure in xylem and more water needs to be pulled upwards to fill the vacuum. Cohesion allows the water to stick together and adhesion allows the water to stick to the walls of the xylem. The resulting force is called transpiration pull and it's a constant force that exists throughout the day. Now looking at the other end of the plants is the roots. The roots absorb water through osmosis by taking in solutes and creating a low water potential within. Having a high solute concentration means that water will be absorbed into the plants. To assist this, they have root hairs, which have a large surface area relative to their small volume. The resulting is that too much water enters the xylem, enters in the, the xylem starts in the roots, and when the roots absorb too much water, or absorb an abundance of water, it creates this pressure. And that's another force that helps that creates pressure within the xylem. So this creates root pressure, and at the opposite end, this is when too much water is in the roots. The xylem tissue has to hold on to this pressure um, and, and accordingly forces the sap upwards. As the sap travels upwards within the plant, the force is distributed evenly on the xylem walls. This is the way that liquids work as um, when pressure is applied to the liquid, the liquid resists in all directions in its container. So the xylem is under this constant force. The force is constant because of the transpiration pull, and it's under a, a pretty significant force because of the root pressure. So putting everything together that we have so far, the transpiration, there's a constant force. From root pressure, there's a significant force. From cohesion and adhesion, there's a direct and constant contact. And finally, a vacuum exists. All of these factors combined make it very hard for an actual living cell to survive um, and support the flow of the xylem, which is why over time the xylem have had to develop dead cells. To examine this, we're going to look at a cross section of the xylem. So now to continue my visual metaphor, we're going to travel up to the tree, to the trunk, where the majority of the xylem tissue exists. So to examine why they're dead, we're going to look at this trough section image that I provided. So you can see that the sides of the xylem are composed mainly of these vessel elements and tracheids. Tracheids are the small sloping ones, while vessel elements are the long cylindrical tubes. And to understand this best, we're going to look primarily at the vessel elements. The vessel elements are dead cells, um, and they're very long and thin, thinner than, so they can't hold organelles, and they're thin so they can understand, uh, withstand rather, uh, constant pressure. The cells are elongated so they can stretch very large distances, and they're coated in lumen. Similar to cellulose, this um, prevents water from entering in the cells. And we'll examine why this is important later. However, all these factors combined make it impossible for the vessel elements to actually survive. They're long and thin to support the pressure, but like I said before, they can't hold organelles like normal plants can. So they can't undergo normal plant functions. For this reason, there's no reason for the plant to be alive. 
A good analogy for this is human skin cells. The outermost layer are dead skin cells, which um, because they're because they're at the outermost layer of people, there's no reason for them to be receiving blood because we're constantly shedding them. Similarly, the cells um, within the xylem, the xylem walls, have to be dead because they're not receiving any nutrients um, and because they need to be specialized to fit this um, highly stressful environment. So like I said before, the dead cells don't need water. The dead cells don't absorb water because they have that membrane, like I said before. The reason for this is the plasmodesmata are closed. The plasmodesmata, think of it like the stomata between plant cells. It's how water moves in between two plant cells. So if we talk about the lumen covering, like I said before, that coats the xylem, the vessel elements, these close off the plasmodesmata. So water can't actually enter in the cells. This is important so there's no cavitation within the plant cells, that the water traveling up the xylem does not get cut off. So this allows a constant stream upwards. So if we just want to look at a quick summary of everything that we've covered. So the summary is the xylem cells are dead because there's a constant water pressure from transpiration and root pressure. Normal cells cannot normally withstand this pressure along with the vacuum that comes with it. So the cells are stretched out very thin uh, so, and coated with lumen so they have extra structural support. This lumen also assists because it does not cause cavitation by absorbing water into the um, vessel elements, which allows for a constant stream of water to flow up the xylem. In summary, xylem are dead so that they do not ruin the flow of water. Here are my citations, and thank you. This has been my presentation.